there's gonna be carnage. What's going on, movie goers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to Sea World Productions. You guys, we got our first glimpse of Woody Harrelson as Cletus Cassidy, aka Carnage, in the sequel to Venom 2. Well, the sequel to Venom for Venom 2 hitting theaters October 2nd this year. Now, I'm excited for Carnage. Carnage is one of my favorite Spider-Man villains. He is ruthless, he is violent, he is insane, and he is so much stronger than Eddie Brock Venom. I'm really hoping we can see the difference between the strength level of Carnage and his creativity when like making his weapons and Eddie Brock's Venom. I want Venom to get his shit wrecked. I really do. Cause it's like, in all the comic books I've read or like watching the animated show, Carnage would just always wreck him. And that's how it should be in the movie. There shouldn't be no difference. But obviously, you know, it is a film on Venom. I think Venom, at the end of the day, is going to win the matchup. But I'm curious to see how they're really going to attach the offspring of the symbiote, Venom, onto Cletus Cassidy. Now, it happens in, in the comic book and in the show, it happens while he was in prison. At the end of Venom 1, Eddie Brock goes to go visit Cletus in prison. Now, maybe it, it happens in there. We don't know. But all I know is I am super excited to see the official first look of the character. And we should be getting a, a trailer sometime soon because if, I'm, if I remember correctly, we got our first trailer for Venom in February and it came out in October. So we should be getting a trailer by possibly the end of this month. And that is all right with me. I am super stoked about it. Um, but I really want to see some backstory on Carnage. I, I don't want, I just don't, I don't want to see him in present day. I want to see the upbringing of the character. I want to see the mental, the physical abuse of the character and how he got to the way he is. I want to see all the violence to his character. I feel like it's, it's extremely important when introducing Carnage to the big screen for the first time. I mean, not a lot of people know the backstory of, you know, his upbringing, his earlier life. And I feel like it's it's pretty damn interesting. But let me read you guys some of the early life of Cletus Cassidy. Cletus, Cletus Cassidy had a troubled childhood. As a child, Cletus killed his grandmother by pushing her down a flight of stairs and tortured his mother's dog, Fifi. Afterward, his father, Roscoe, killed his mother and received no defense from Cassidy during his trial. As an orphan, Cassidy was sent to the, the home for boys where... His antisocial behavior made him a target of abuse from both the other orphans and the staff. Cassidy gained revenge by murdering the administration, pushing a girl who refused a date with him in front of a bus and burning down the orphanage. Now, I remember a couple months ago, we saw those set photos of look like this gate from that orphanage. So if we are gonna be getting those flashback scenes of the upbringing of the character, my God, it is going to be brutal. Now, what if they lean towards more of an R-rated? That would be even better, but I doubt it because the success of Venom was so huge, making over $800 million. I doubt Sony will go that route and really, you know, push it towards the PG-13 rating, obviously. It's, it's, it's a bummer, but I'm fine with it because you can still do a lot with the PG-13 rating. But man, that, that's insane. Like, realistically, like that, that is, it's, it's crazy when you think about the upbringing of how Cletus Cassidy became who he was. It's so violent. It's so crazy. But I'm super pumped to see Woody Harrelson. I can't believe that Woody Harrelson was even agreed to a role like this. I'm like, holy shit, this is so sick. And the first look at him looks like he's in this nice suit. He has a haircut. He doesn't. He no longer has those curls. I'm like, all right, cool. He cut those damn curls off. Um, but even in the, the set footage that we got, it looks like the cops pull him over and they're shooting at him. And it looks like he's like transforming into Carnage. Obviously, it's B-roll footage. You're not going to see any special effects. But it looks like, you know, Carnage is like taking the bullets. Um, and I do find it pretty interesting that in, in these Venom films, there are no motion capture performance. They, they're not really doing that whole motion capture performance thing where they have the suit and the dots. They're doing a different style of it which is kind of rare, rare, rare to see, especially when I see you, you watch Mark Ruffalo as the Hulk. He always has motion capture performance on Josh Brolin, you know, or even those, those apes films with Andy Serkis. And I'm so happy to see Andy Serkis direct this film. I know this is a, probably only his third film, but I do believe in Andy Serkis. He, you know, he's been around Hollywood for quite some time. He's the godfather of motion capture performance. 
And I feel like the, he's definitely going to deliver a great sequel to Venom. I really do. And we're also going to be getting an introduction to Shriek. That is Carnage's girlfriend. So she's going to be introduced to this film as well. I would love to see a possible cameo from like Madam Web. My God, that would be so cool. Um, I, obviously Morbius. I don't know when Morbius takes place or when Venom 2 takes place. So after Morbius this July, we'll know when that film actually takes place and how it ties into the bigger picture, into their bigger universe. Because come Venom 2, this will be the third film in Sony's um, Sony's own Spider-Man universe. But y'all, I am super, super pumped for Venom 2. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Still hoping to see, you know, Spider-Man get that, sim that symbiote suit on and then eventually go back to, you know, Venom and he has the white spider chest on his the white spider symbol on his chest and he's actually using the web swinging is that something i want to see further down the long as you see the the character evolve and grow but post your comments down below guys let me know what you guys think about the the official first look for clintus cassidy aka carnage in venom 2 post your comments down below you guys and thank you for taking time today for us to seal productions peace